our job is to find the sum of this series. And so we have the natural log of n plus 2 underneath the 1 minus the natural log of n plus 1 underneath the 1. When you're asked to find the sum, it's either going to be geometric or telescoping. This one is telescoping. The sum will always be equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth partial sum. And so it's our job to figure out a, an expression for this nth partial sum s sub n. What that does is that takes the first term, 1 over the natural log of 3, minus 1 over the natural log of 2. It takes the second term, which is 1 over the natural log of 4, minus 1 over the natural log of 3. Subsequent terms, let's go one more, n equals 3, 1 over the natural log of 5, minus 1 over the natural log of 4. This continues. You get the last term, you're supposed to stop at n, 1 over the natural log of n plus 2, minus 1 over the natural log of n plus 1. Now here's what we need to do. We need to figure out how the cancellation happens. So the first term that's going to cancel is the natural log of 3. So whenever you basically have two terms, the first term of your of the 4 will cancel with the last term of the 4, essentially. So whenever you have two terms, the first term of the 4 will cancel with the last term of the 4. If I was to write n equals 4 term, the first term here would cancel with the last term here. This cancellation will continue on and on and on. Let's write what the previous term is to the nth term. We have 1 over the natural log. This is when n equals n minus 1. We have 1 over the natural log of n plus 1 minus 1 over the natural log of n. How does the cancellation work? You'll end up canceling your first and your last term when you have two terms together. So natural log of n plus 1 canceled. If you had the one right before this, n minus 2, the first one would cancel with the last one. All these middle terms would cancel, leaving you with the following. You would be left with the s sub n term being this first term that didn't cancel. Left over would be this last term that didn't cancel. Your job is to find the limit as n goes to infinity of that s sub n. As n gets big, the term 1 over natural log 2, negative 1 over natural log 2 doesn't change, but the term 1 over the natural log of n plus 2 goes to 0. n gets big, n plus 2 is big, the natural log of big is large, 1 over something very large is very small. And so this is equal to negative 1 over the natural log of 2. 
and that's your sum.